Good morning. If you've seen the thumbnail of the video, which you probably did because you clicked on it, it is fence building day around here. Um, so full clarity, part of the fence is already built and I'll get into that in a minute. Um, so I am actually on my way to go pick up a nail gun, a framing nail gun uh, from the one of our trailers uh, that is pulled by one of the, the guys that works for us. Um, because I no longer have a fully stocked uh, enclosed tool trailer at my house. Um, I have, I don't know if I've really talked about this on the channel much. I worked for my family's construction uh, company and I have ever since I got out of the Marine Corps in fall of 2013. And for the most of that time, 2013 till I think basically fall of 2022, I was either, you know, just a, you know, helper, assistant, whatever, you know, kind of just working under someone in the field. And then eventually I got, uh, I was, you know, more or less promoted into being a site foreman position and worked that way for most of that time, probably eight, eight years or so, seven, eight years as a site foreman. Um, but then in fall of 2022, we were, um, we needed to promote someone into a project manager position because my brother, who was working towards being the majority owner of the company, but also was the project manager and doing a lot of pre-construction stuff, uh, was just working way too many hours and didn't have the bandwidth to do everything that needed to be done. And so we needed to kind of divide the roles that he was doing and let him focus more on pre-construction and have me uh, promote up out of the site foreman role. And the guy that was working with me was gonna become the new site foreman pulling that trailer that we were using and I was gonna become the project manager for all of our active projects. So, been doing that for a year and a half now, give or take. It's February 2024 right now and it's been good. It took a little bit of getting used to. I've learned a lot. Still got plenty more to learn. But the whole the, the whole reason for saying that is that once I stopped being a site foreman, um, I don't have, you know, a enclosed 16 foot long tool trailer that just is at my disposal or it sits at my house a lot, you know, in the evenings and on weekends. So it's hard to uh, I, I need to go get tools, like borrow tools from, you know, one of the, the crews at work, um, like a framing nail gun for, for certain things. I still, I have a decent amount of stuff, like a lot of cord, basic cordless tools, miter saw, table saw, um, nail gun, like trim nail guns, compressor, stuff like that. So in this case, I only need to go borrow the framing nailer from him because I have most everything else I need for this fence. Um, and I saw, I, I worked, I actually worked with the crews a little bit this week and still forgot to borrow a framing nailer from them. So, but my buddy lives, he only lives about 10 minutes from me. So I'm just going to go run and grab a nail gun out of his trailer. Um, but as you will see, when I get back home, uh, the fence is already mostly built, uh, because there were a few days, um, last month where we just had no work scheduled for the cruise because of some scheduling issues and so be we wanted to make sure that our our crews in the field uh had work uh you know we're not having uh shorter paychecks those those time periods so uh, i had them come over and work at my house and you'll see you're going to see this video before you see some of what what they did um but they they came over they hung some drywall in some of the bedrooms upstairs uh, and then they also started building this fence that we're, I'm gonna uh, finish uh, today and possibly tomorrow. So that's why it is already partially done and I'm sorry that I totally forgot to set up a camera the day that they were working, our days they started working on this fence. Just never even occurred to me. So it's already partially built and when I get back home, I'll show you why I'm continuing to do more than what its current state is because it kind of looks like it's finished in its current state. And then we will, we're gonna get into it. That's what I need. So I think we've had a few different versions of these. I think these two are both the same one. I don't know if one's better or not banging everything around they are the exact same so 
I will take this one. Yeah, it's just being my old trailer. Not mine anymore. But my guy still does a pretty good job of keeping it cleaned up. See you guys back at the house. Back home. Got a fresh cup of Black Rifle coffee in the operator cup. So, here is the fence. So, looks pretty good. It actually looks awesome. It's just slightly shorter than I intended for it to be. And that is because when I sort of scrambled to get this project set up and ready for my guys, we actually started it day one on this project for the two guys that work for me that I had come over here and work on this was actually like the week before Christmas, so several months ago. And I didn't plan enough, so I thought I would be able to work okay with buying 10 foot posts and cutting them in half to be, uh, you know, basically five foot long sections and go down to the ground. But my guys are used to digging uh, deeper holes than I intended for them to dig here, because this is not, these are not bearing posts for a deck like we do a lot. These are just fence posts, so they got a little, they did, they did big good big holes they did a good job but it resulted in the posts not being as tall as i intended for them so if i had just bought 12 foot posts and cut them into six foot pieces instead of five foot pieces uh, i think we would have been fine but you know lesson learned on that don't try to save a few bucks by buying shorter posts next time or just put more thought into it so original plan had been for the wood fence to be about as high as the brick wall there and so not only are we a little bit short of that but I think I calculated for a little bit extra anyway, just in case I got some bad boards. So this is all the extra material we have. And since it's shorter than I wanted anyway, to compensate for the fact that I have all this extra lumbar left over that I don't think I can return because it's been like three months since I bought it all and Lowe's return policy is not quite that good. Uh, I came up with a way that I think is gonna work relatively well to extend the height of this fence and use up the material and not uh, be too janky. I did some digging online and found these dowel screws. They're 5 16 inch by uh, like 4 inch long, I think, or yeah, 5 16 by 4 inch. And my plan is to just put a dowel screw in the center of each of the existing posts and then I'm just going to extend up about another 16 to 18 inches and that will allow me to do four more curse courses, eh, four more curses, four more courses of this one by four all the way around. And then I'm also going to do vertical ones over each post that will cover up the seams and the row of nails. And it should work out perfect. So not only will there be a dowel screw in the middle, there will be, you know, obviously the horizontal slats connecting everything. And then I'm also planning to probably kind of do some toe screws that will help firm up this joint. And I think it'll be okay. It's not gonna be as strong as it would have been if it was one continuous post, but it is after all just a fence. Um, more just, it literally just a little decorative privacy fence kind of thing. There used to be bushes here a long time ago if you've seen, been around the channel long enough since we moved in this house a year and a half ago. boxwoods they're currently down in in the uh, abyss of the the side of the hill down there <laughs> and the other thing that I started on last year was we were putting 
we got rid of all of the nastiness that was in his front beds and we started putting down slate chips and i really like them they look better they last longer than mulch they don't change color and fade like mulch does we've done tan river rock before in a couple houses and it's fine but i don't love the look of it as much but i really like these blue slate chips it matches it matches the blue retaining wall paint pretty well and whatever we end up doing later matches pretty well so i obviously have to do a little bit of cleaning up of it around where they put the post in and then continue working it all the way around the side uh into this tree i've got the rest of it all back here in the corner of the driveway i think i bought about two or three yards of it when i bought it last year it was originally sitting there i dropped it out of the dump trailer in the middle of this parking area here Um, but then it sat there because I stopped working on this front bed project for a while while it was really hot last summer and then really cold. Just never got back to it. So now that my guys got the fence mostly done, figured it was time to just go ahead and get it finished. So after all of that talking, it's time to actually get to work. In case you guys are wondering what all that racket is in the background. We're making a box. <laughs> making a box with all the scrap. Mom, can I do something? Can we don't have any it? more screws, so we're using nails. <laughs> Would you like to give me some screws? Give me you have, some, you have a box full. I think your nails are doing just fine. All right, I've got the first three in, but this is taking too long, so let's just speed things up. Boom. All nine dowel screws are in. My hands totally aren't really sore from gripping those channel locks hard enough to thread those in. Fine. And we also have a completed box. This is a fine piece of craftsmanship. Not bad. It sounds like they were already pre-cut. <laughs> 
show. So what's what's the purpose of this box? Well, mom had the idea to make. I I figured we can like if these were long enough. That's a good one. Huh? <laughs> It's crazy, they're like it all the same size. If you had it like this, yes. I could maybe have like something here and something here. I made my name on it. Screw these in. Mm. And then we can screw the A shelf to store things cool. on? Yeah. Nice. I could put some cool stuff on here. That'd be cool. Pausing for a quick lunch break because my wife just brought out this incredible plate of nachos. We do nachos a lot around here and we don't just throw a little cheese on chips. We put good stuff on. Post extensions are all on. So we have the threaded dowel in the center and then on the face of the post that is facing in, so towards me as I'm standing here that will get covered up, I have two little trim head screws that will help keep the post from trying to rotate at all, uh, hopefully. I mean, they're pretty solid just from twisting them on there good with those threaded dowels. But I figured a couple extra screws uh, can't certainly can't hurt and will probably be helpful for uh, just preventing issues later.
it started drizzling a little bit, but we are complete with the uh, horizontal fence members. So now it's time to run the vertical covers that will go over, basically over each post, whether there's a joint there or not. And we always screw those on uh, so they're more easily removable if you have to do something with this. And then it also is just, it'll look a lot cleaner. Okay, I ran out of screws. There's only two in that one and I need eight in there. Plus I've also got to put on uh, a top cap. But, look how good it looks. So clean, so awesome. So I will pick some more screws up on the way home from church tomorrow and should be able to finish it. I think it's, it's the rain's kind of, it's not really picking up. It's just steady little drizzle going on for the last hour or so. But it's supposed to be, uh, nice and sunny tomorrow so should have no problem finishing it up and then uh probably sometime soon i will get started on actually finishing the rest of the the bed area so see you guys back here tomorrow just kidding I'm sitting here editing on a saturday morning and this video got way longer than i thought it was going to be so uh, i decided to break it into two videos so you'll get the second half of the fence project on the next one. Thanks for watching as always. Drop a comment, like, all that good stuff if you want to. And I'll see you on the next one.